Okay. Itamics Kanatani. Good morning. It is about quarter to ten o'clock in the AM on Friday, June eleventh, twenty twenty one, in the lunar cycle, transitioning into the lunar cycle Misamsuta, the long rains. And indeed, we have been having our monsoons. <laughs> the last several days have been cold and rainy. Well, we had a good... There was that, that weekend that Susie went disappeared. May 22nd, 23rd, 24th. It was really rainy and cold. And then it got hot. Like, super hot. Blistering hot. I got my first good sunburn of the season. Um, and then it got cold and wet again. Hey? And I think that's probably a, the extent of, of what is normally our, our long rains which go you know they can go anywhere from a couple of weeks to to or just four days you know but we're gonna have some kind of monsoon this time of year and we've and we've been having it so pretty sure it's over still puddles on the ground from it but we'll see <laughs> any case um it seems to be skunk season the skunks are coming out of their dens getting caught in traps i haven't had occasion to chance across any skunk kits yet but I I expect it any day now skunk kits raccoon kits um, I've been getting lots and lots of raccoon calls as well but not very many of those are getting trapped skunks are getting trapped I've got two in the back of the truck right now um, headed over to the studio where they are doing moccasin craft and uh, I'm gonna Take a washroom break, uh, pick up Brittany, I think. She wants to go with me on the release, and we'll go down to the wilderness park, do a quick release, back to the studio for more moccasins, and who knows where the day will lead. We've I've had all kinds of really bizarre things that have gone on uh, in the last week. I had a, a magpie fledgling that I was taking care of, and when I first received it, it was at death's door. It had been, uh, it had been in a dog's mouth. It had been in a severe state of shock. When I was picked it up, it was that night. It was going into that kind of that throw its head back, kind of death positioning for birds that has been the norm since dinosaur days. And um, I thought there's no way this bird is living through the night. But it did. It lived through the night. It survived that night. It survived another night. It survived a third night. It was bouncing back. I was feeding it. Um, it was eating. It was begging. It started to beg. Act like a normal, healthy magpie fledgling. The only thing was, it had splay leg. And so uh, I got one of my friends over to help me um, wrap up her splay leg. And... Before, with, before 48 hours later, she had slipped. Um, I just seen her her interest in food go down, and I knew that was a bad sign. Her sleep started, you know, she started sleeping more. Knew it was a bad sign, and sure enough, overnight, um, passed away. So, and that sucked, because we needed a win, and it looked like, you know, after the whole Susie thing, that was a big loss, that was a big hurt. And we needed to do something that was good. And I thought that magpie that was damn near dead, bouncing back, you know, felt good. But uh, sure enough, that died too. And then somebody called me to rescue a, a, a fairly, you know, late one night. I don't know, not really late, but after, after the sun had set one evening, or the sun was setting at least, uh, which is fairly late these, this time of year. I got a call for an injured hawk, and I set out to go get it. Um, apparently, it had lost one leg and had, you know, severe uh, trauma to its to its skull. Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so like we've been watching it for so long that it could barely fly at all. Okay. And was hobbling around. And then we went, and like we've been close to it. Yeah. And then we went to actually get it with 
the sweater. Yeah. It just like flew so far. I had met up with another one, and they're like down into like they've flown way past the coolie. <laughs> <laughs> I I am so sorry. I. He honestly was not going anywhere. We were checking it out, getting so close. It would kind of fly just a tiny bit, but still like low enough that we could get to it. Yeah. And then when we actually, I guess, looked like we were going to get it, it just like flew off. And it's honestly missing like some of its skull. Wow. And it's missing a talon. It's missing a foot. Wow. But... It, it can obviously fly. I am so sorry to waste your time. Oh no, it, it, <laughs> you didn't. You didn't waste too much of my time. I'm, you know, yeah. So it is the summer days. It is the days of lots of growth, but it is also the days of lots of cruelty. It is the feast of babies, and the babies. I think I'm gonna start seeing babies very soon. I've been seeing lots of rattlesnake babies. See lots. You saw one in my last video. Here's another little clip of one I got the other day. Baby. Another baby. In my hat. Get you in my hat. Apply the baby procedure. Many babies this year. Very cute. like that smell? <laughs> Does the mask help? No. <laughs> Person. No. Oh, just close. Oh, what the hell? I didn't see this one. Is that the little buck? Yeah. Yeah, he's been with this, that little guy. He's been hanging out with that big guy. Yeah. Most of the year, the guys stay separate, eh? Hey? But they're gay? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh shit. What the fuck is it? The hell's that sound? <laughs> Going for the pink. So the red was popular. Do you guys want more red? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right, it's afternoon now and studio is closing for the day. I have a rattlesnake call, my first of the season from Paradise Canyon Golf Club. So here I normally get, you know, maybe a couple of dozen snakes to pick up every summer season. And this will be number one for 2021. They have trained caddies that'll put them in the, um, bucket already all I gotta do is swap my the snake into my bucket I could swap buckets but I'll swap snakes I'm looking, not right off the hop though. Not right off the hop. We'll have to look at the photo database. It's old enough, I've probably seen this snake before. Hopefully the camera was tilted up enough to even get that. But we'll go see him again at the release site here. They're pretty calm most of the time. Working with them like this. <laughs> All right. Let it go into the pallets here. Home now 
on just waiting for Miss Chels, who has returned from getting a new tattoo. She's so awesome. She's so good. Where did you get it done? I got it at. I want to say Ratatouille, but it's not the right name. Rulu, Rulu, Roulette, something. Oh, you got the back of the arm decided, eh? Yeah. Moth. Moth butterfly. Moth in the thing? moth in the stars. In the starlight. That. Yeah, it's nice. It flows with my other one. Everybody using that plastic now, hey? Yeah. That wrap. That wrap stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah. It makes it heal a little faster. Oh, I was like on my stomach like this for like since one. Yeah. Like and my arm was like all like this uh, and I'm uh, like, oh, this is uncomfortable. Looks good though. What you wearing under there? I see a little bit of strappy stuff going on. Of course. Oh goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it goes. We're going to the drive-in. Movie show. today, Jaws. Jaws. Oh, oh yeah. So excited. It's gonna be. It's gonna be bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>